a dumbbell or kettlebell rear foot elevated split squats. So we're going with a dorsiflex position on these guys, all right? So don't really mind if you want your flat foot and you've got a kind of Orbison kind of split squat machine, use that 100%. If you don't, then use a reboot step and I don't mind that back foot being dorsiflex the case, doesn't have a little bit of tension sitting in that back leg. Okay, you will probably need to use the first one to adjust. Um, you can always pad where your knee is, but we always want that knee to touch or brush or slam into the floor, okay, as close to it as it we can, okay? So we drift out. Notice I've loaded up. I've also put a little bit more front load, okay, towards that front knee. This knee should be drifting in line with the edge of my toe, uh, in theory, so I've got enough quad development and a load of hip flexion happening there. Okay, so they stay nice and rigid. Almost bring this uh, shoulder round towards this knee so we don't go into any kind of external rotation on this one. We want internal rotation to happen. Okay, so we're really screwing into that hip nicely. Okay, rock it and let's go.